19 minutes after 7 o'clock, Jeremy, one thing I know you have already discovered is our viewers are the nicest people, the most loyal people around. You're completely right. My goodness. Thank you so much for the warm welcome, Andy. And thank you all at home who are watching for the warm welcome. You are all so nice to me. You left so many nice Facebook comments for me. And oh my God, the explosive welcome that I had at the Times Tower lighting wasn't just explosive because of the Times Tower lighting fireworks. It was also explosive because of the Facebook comments and the phone lines that you've just been calling in. I wanted to quickly say thank you to Kayla, who sent me a comment that really meant a lot. Thank you so much for appreciating the way I look and you know thank you WNEP for embracing me wholeheartedly. I'm truly proud to serve central and northeastern Pennsylvania and I've gotten the Jason Momoa reference before too. Um, yeah I think I look a little bit like him just minus the muscles that's all. <laughs> Taking a live, live look right now outside Pottsville, Pottsville at St. Patrick's Church. You can see it's a pretty dreary morning there. It's a dreary morning here. We got the sun starting to come up, but not any sunshine, that is, because these showers are starting to move into our area. They already moved through central Pennsylvania. They're starting to re-fire up now again as they move, as they exit Schuylkill County here, as you can see, as it's entering Jim Thorpe and into Carbon County. Those showers are going to continue to move through the morning tonight, today, and then we'll have a little bit of a reprieve and then we'll have a second round of showers as well. It's all part of this larger storm system currently situated in the UP of Michigan. It's going to be sliding its way east, and as it does, it brings that moisture our way. But you can see we're centered in this warm sector right south of this warm front. Then we're going to have this cold front move through and bring in some colder temperatures. But while we're in the warm sector, you can see temperatures are up in the 40s right now, 43, 45 actually, the updated number in the corner there uh, in our backyard. But temperatures in the 40s, even in the Poconos, Lake Harmony, 40, 36 in Gouldsboro, a little bit cooler there. But other than that, it's their 40s across central Pennsylvania. It's just a little cooler in the northern tier. So for today, you should expect the two shots of rain. The one is right now. It's occurring through about the 8 o'clock, 9 o'clock hour. Then we'll have a little bit of a reprieve. But winds will be gusting over 30 to 35 miles an hour. So if you have any inflatables or uh, patio furniture, make sure you secure that. You want to make sure that it doesn't end up blowing off your porch and into the street. Um, but then the sunshine returns for tomorrow, but not for long. We have another storm set up for Tuesday and Wednesday. If you're planning out your day today, make sure you head out at between like 10 o'clock and noon, because between 6 and 8, we're going to have that first round of showers and then between two and four we're going to have our second round of showers so timing it all out on future clouds and radar you can see the heavier rain moving through eastern Pennsylvania then we have that dry slot starting around 10, 11 o'clock moving through the afternoon into around 2 30 we have that second round of showers moving through the area and then winds come out of the northwest and bring in some pretty cool temperatures. Tonight we could see temperatures as low as 27. You can see those winds coming out of the northwest overnight tonight and into tomorrow. With stores, to storm totals go, we're looking anywhere between about a half of an inch, a quarter of an inch to a half and an inch uh, in our southern tier is where we're going to pick up the most of the rain. Right now the rain's starting to pick up on me too. We're going to see those showers throughout the day today and then you know we have some rain again on Tuesday and Wednesday before drying out for Thursday and Friday. I'm going to have to go back in and get the umbrella for my next hit because the rain's starting to come down a little bit heavier than it was before. And Jeremy, I know what you're going through. I am often compared to Jason Momoa as well. <laughs> I'm sure you were. That was right before you cut your hair, right? Maybe Andy? about 40 <laughs> years. All right, Jeremy, thank you. In in sports this morning, semifinal weekend in the state high school football playoffs. Here's Ron Snyder with Newswatch 16 Saturday morning sports.